Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I am so flipping buzzed for today's video. I, I just can't wait. If you can tell from the title, today we're only gonna be eating Harrods food for 24 hours because yeah, I know some people really can't stand the 24 hour videos. And if that's your vibe, you have to watch this one. There's many other videos on my channel, but there's a lot of us that still enjoy them. I still watch them when people post them and I lap them up. And if you didn't know, Harrods is basically the bougiest food hall that you can get in London. It's a massive department store, but they have a food hall and this food is crazy. Like some of it is just pure overpriced and not actually any good. Whereas some of it is delectable, sensational, everything you want it to be. And it's still expensive, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you everything that I saw at Harrods right now, it was quite hard whittling it down because there were so many things that looked good. So I'm hoping I've picked a good array. Let's go to Harrods. The Harrods food hall is honestly unreal. It has three main sections. You've got the fresh produce, which includes things like meats, cheeses, main meals. Then you've got the cupboard bits and bobs and it has the patisserie and the bakery, which arguably is my favorite. The patisserie section is so fantastic. And then you have the chocolate hall, which we'll get onto. The first section with the fresh produce had so many tempting delights so many different sandwiches i find it so interesting to see what different people pick and what lures them in because you know when you see someone go for something you think oh, i would never choose that and then other things that you see the hand reach for and you're like i need that in my life there are some obscene things that i just can't imagine anyone ever buying but hey ho here we are then the bakery section is truly a wonder they have some real hits and misses that i've experienced in my time and you really have to learn what's going to be worth it like a seven pound loaf of bread was not the one then the best room of all, the chocolate room, where there are lots of different brands. They have Ladrack and all sorts, and even Harrods hand make the bits and bobs, and you can watch them making it. It's so freaking cool. I had a wonderful time, but I was so overwhelmed by the choice, and feel like I'm gonna have to do it again. Or if you have any other thoughts on fun videos I can film, then let me know. But let's go home and try and do 24 hours of Harrods food. Let's go, baby. Now. For breakfast, we are gonna be having, I got myself this raspberry and pomegranate cooler. There are quite a few drinks that they have. This is a fruit drink with agave syrup and added cultures, whatever that means. I wish I didn't read that because I'm a bit freaked out that it's got cultures in it. I just thought it was gonna be a nice sweet drink, but let's give it a whirl. Those added cultures are really giving it a zing. Ew, can I taste that yogurt? which I suppose would make sense if there's added cultures. Now I'm just gonna get a plate because there were, again, many options for breakfast. There were sweet, oh, sorry, but that is rank. Why does it taste like yogurt? Is it supposed to taste like that? Like, why did we have to add Bacillus coagulans GBI 30 6086? Couldn't we have just had a nice drink? <laughs> anyway, for our breakfast, I'm gonna try two different things. This obviously isn't an average day of eating because the things I've bought <laughs> are insane in the membrane. This is what we've got first. This is a doson, which is a donut and a croissant, little hybrid. And then we also have this, which is the cube croissant but if you look underneath it's got like a swirl of chocolate hazelnut i don't think i'm going to be able to manage to eat both but i'm gonna give them a whirl so let's try them first oh my word that was kind of a roller coaster upon first bite beautiful delicious fluffy sugary but then it kind of gets bitter and you know my thing with fried food when it begins to taste like the oil is old and it's just been sitting around that tastes like it's been sitting around a bit. But hey, pretty banging. And that sugary coating, I'm not gonna knock it. Look in there. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now, let's try this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my mouth around that. I can't, and I have a big mouth, a big old gob. I like so close, look at this. Oh, I mean, it's okay. I think I should have just gone for a normal pass on, but, Fun to try new things, and I would have always been curious. I want to get like a really good bite. Hang on. No. No. Oh. Well, that was disappointing. I'm still going to eat these, but I thought they were going to be better than that. And I've had some of the other pastry products before, and they're absolutely flipping delicious. But alas, breakfast, probably a three out of ten. 
big disappointment, especially you. Really disappointed in you. I, I was gasping for a nice refreshing drink. It's even called a cooler. That's no bad, it was cool. <laughs> right, cherubs, it is mid-morning snack time. And I thought, right, if I'm gonna be trying all these wild and wonderful things that Harrods has, trying things that I've never tried before, then they might not be good. As we saw at breakfast, it's a shame. But there's one thing in Harrods that if I'm going to Harrods, I cannot leave the shop without getting it. And that is this. The olive breadstick. It doesn't look like much. It doesn't look exciting. But let me tell you, it's my favorite thing in the world. If I could have one of these every day, I would. And fun fact, I actually bought one of these on my way home and I ate it already. I ate it, I did. So I've already had one of these, but I am happy to have another one. Don't, don't tell me twice. I don't know why it's so good. Actually I do. The bread has like that nice olive oil taste. It's kind of like tough and chewy in the best possible way. It's got the olives, which obviously olives are like my favorite food. It's salty. It's just sublime. I love it. I could have this every day and I don't think I would ever get sick of it. You know, people are like, oh, you'd get sick of it if you had it every day. I wouldn't, I literally wouldn't. I don't get sick of foods. I am a creature of habit and I know what I like and I'm not turning from it. Oh yeah. Anyway, it's my mid-morning snack. I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy this. Sit back, relax, and just eat my breadstick <laughs> in peace. Okay, it is time for lunch now. And I've gone a little bit rogue. I am aware on lunch, and I feel like people are gonna be like, why the heck did you get this? And there is method to my madness. Now, there is a plethora of delights that Harrods have that look so sensational. Some of them, I just think that can't be good, which maybe I should give this another little rego this video because the croissant with the smoked salmon and the gold leaf on top, 12 pounds, 12 pounds. I could get a full blown meal and I dose for that, like a big dirty meal. And I can't get my head around it being any good. Like it can't be good, can it? Whereas some of the other sandwiches actually look really good. There was this one that was just like a good old chicken, bacon, avocado, lettuce. Kind of was tempted by that. Was also tempted by the rotisserie box, but I wouldn't be able to have it hot. So I thought it wasn't gonna be a fair test. So after that long lengthy explanation, I've gone for an egg mayonnaise. Egg mayonnaise? Is mayonnaise an instrument? An egg mayo sandwich. Now. Hear my thoughts. Egg mayo sandwich, classic, simple. I actually love an egg mayo and I think it's one of the most underrated sandwiches of all time. Especially when it's got crest in there, beautiful. I like a good egg mayo is a good egg mayo. Do you know what I mean? And I just feel like because it's so simple, they should have executed it fantastically and it should be delicious. Like this should be the best egg mayo I've ever had in my life. And I've had a lot of egg mayo because I've been to a lot of afternoon teas. And I feel like at the afternoon teas, there have been obviously my favorite afternoon tea in the world, the Mandarin Oriental. Stunning, stunning sights there. Oh no. The bread. Oh, this is. This is not looking good, guys. The thing that is stumping me is it's been filled really poorly. Like, what is that? Why has it been filled like that? It's really like wonky. It's like it's on a hill because there's just no filling. The bread kind of feels dry as well. Do I like that? I mean, it's kind of no different from a good egg mayo that my mum would make. And she can make for half the price. It's quite salty. I want other things happening there. I want like a crack of black pepper or I feel like it needs something, but the bread's actually really good. I thought it was gonna be really dry. I feel like you could get a better egg mayo in a supermarket meal deal. I do. Gosh, Harrods, normally I have a great time at Harrods. Insert the many videos right here across the screen that I've filmed at Harrods before. Weird, I feel like they've just had an off day, but sometimes we all have off days. It's lacking. It's a bit dry. It's not super flavorful and it's boring. Okay, and an egg mayo doesn't have to be boring. I want to start a revolution, all right? You want to start a revolution? I start a revelation. So listen to my declaration. We hold this egg crust to be self-evident. Oh. It's all right, I'm gonna eat it anyway, but not the best. It's tea time, baby. I just boiled the kettle 
and I just get interested almost more by the everyday products to see if there's a difference. Obviously I did that video where I tested Harrods products versus Tesco, but I'm just really intrigued because this is a peppermint tea. I'm actually really in my mint tea era. My favorite one is this one, which is the Pucker 3 Mint. This is flipping delicious. And I like it because it's not just normal peppermint, it's spearmint and fieldmint as well. So it hasn't got that like, I don't know, it's got like the sweetness of the spearmint. Who knew that I was gonna be a peppermint connoisseur? So that is my favorite, hands down. If I could have that every day, I would. So I'm intrigued to see how this one would fare up. And I'm just like, all the supermarkets that are using peppermints, like how different can the leaf vary? That one's different because it has a whole different type of mint plant, two different types. Whereas this, I'm like, it's just a peppermint tea, surely. So I've got the peppermint tea and I also have a little tea time snack. Now, the one thing that I can say for these is that it has silken tea bags. And apparently there is something to be said for a silken... They actually smell really good. <laughs> I might be eating my words on this one. That smells like really good peppermint. It actually smells like mint. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes it smells like Colgate toothpaste. Whereas this actually smells minty. I think we could be in for a treat here, you guys. Let's fill this jar up. As soon as you open them, because otherwise they lose that gorgeous taste and smell. I feel like this might be the nicest thing we've had today. Let's fill her up. I'm gonna actually follow the instructions. For the perfect cup of tea, first, Oh, I've already not followed the instructions. Okay, so I'm gonna wait three to five minutes. Then for the snack, I mean, I was gonna get the little afternoon tea taster, but I've, I've tried that before. So I was trying things that I've not tried. And then I think I might have tried this. I got overwhelmed, there was too much choice. Are you ready? I'll do an unveiling. Hi, <laughs> don't know I did that. <gasps> oh. oh. Oh, I've lost its raspberry. Hang on, I feel like we need a redo. Gosh, I'm having a bit of a mare. Okay. It does look like the perfect mini Victoria sponge. There's like little bits of vanilla bean in the buttercream. The sponge looks very light. It's got like these little crispy bits on top. It's got raspberry. I feel like this is the perfect little tea time snack. Just look at that. Doesn't that look like the perfect afternoon? for me. I'm even cracking out the cake fork to optimize my eating experience. Now, this looks literally perfect, what the heck. They really do a good job of making sure it doesn't move around in transit. Like that was really, she was stuck in there. Ooh, I think it might be a bit dry, you know? I'm gonna get the little white chocolate H, just cause you have to. That's a lot of buttercream. It goes straight in the mouth. Don't love that. I feel like I'm being really negative, but I promise I'm just giving the truth. The sponge is actually quite a good sponge, but if you look at the jam part, it's not like a jam, it's like a jelly. Can you see the texture? It's not right. And, and the buttercream is not light and whippy. It's like really, ugh, it's really hard. This is only me being like extra critical, bearing in mind that was five pounds. I can make a whole Victoria sponge for that price. It's got a nice flavor. The flavor's really good. I'll give them that. And I don't like the crunchy sugar on top, but I suppose that's a preference thing, isn't it? It's quite good. If I was just eating that, I'd be like, oh, that's a nice Victoria sponge. But we're not here to just eat. We're here to give a proper, thorough analysis. And now let's try a little peppermint tea. It is actually quite a good peppermint tea. How funny that out of everything today, that's been my favorite. It's like a nice, light refreshing peppermint tea. Yeah, I'd rate that peppermint tea, solid. I haven't done ratings today. I'd say that peppermint tea is a solid eight out of 10. Victoria sponge, a six out of 10. The sandwich at lunch, a six out of 10. There you go. Hello everyone. It's actually the next day because I have had camera difficulties. If you can't tell, I'm on a different camera now. Honestly, I don't know what it is with me and camera. I don't have the best of luck, but for dinner today, I'm gonna to be having something very exciting. This little inside to my fridge. Welcome to my fridge. Maybe I should do a fridge tour. Oh, that's not, that's not a nice noise, is it now? So, for our tea tonight, we've got the leek potato and gruyere pie that you cook in the oven at 180 and reheat for 20 minutes. Now, let me just tell you 
that actually I got three different pies. Why is it making that squeaky noise? I got three different pies. I got the lamb curry one, I got the beef shim one, and I got this one. And I gave the other two to my husband and my brother-in-law, and they had them, devoured them, said they were incredible. Also, we noticed they were eight pounds. So price-wise, obviously expensive it's quite expensive for a little pie but i feel like if you were to go out to like a restaurant in london and order a pie it would kind of be a similar price and it's like the most rich buttery pastry and most delicious filling so i'm gonna heat this sucker up and we're gonna have that for our dinner i'm so intrigued to see what it's gonna taste like pop it in the oven and we'll have it in a tickety boo this pie smells fantastic like the best it feels like I'm walking around in France getting a whiff of like a cheesy market. It smells divine. Now I just want to get, let's get a little shot of it bubbling away. Oh yeah. What's it like in there? Oh, look at that. And I love leeks. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go and try this sucker out. I can't get over how flipping good it smells. It literally smells divine. It's so leaky, so cheesy, so rich, so... Mm -mm -mm. I'm really excited to um, try this out. Guys, this is stunning. This is everything I want a pie to be. I actually would put it up there as one of the top five pies I've ever had in my life. Top five, whole entire life. Crispy, buttery pastry, flavoursome. It's quite salty, but I kind of like that. I'm a salty cow. Absolutely great. Wow. Harris, knocking it out of the park. Also, I feel like I should say, the mint tea my husband had last night, he said it's his favourite mint tea that he's ever had. Who would have thought it? So, Harrods, well done for knocking it out of the park. Well flipping done. And now the end is near, and so we've reached final curtain. We've got our dessert. I'm quite full from that pie. It was only small, but it was mighty, and it was also very rich. I feel like I need a good sit down and a bath. I've got actually a hot water, not a peppermint tea, because, ah, uh, let's not go too crazy. It's me. It's hot water at the end of the day. But for our dessert, we have these gorgeous looking things. These are the Harrods Chocolatiery Almond and Dark Chocolate Florentines. Let me tell you, the flipping chocolate ball at Harrods is the best thing ever. Oh my goodness. It is like walking in to chocolate heaven. Sorry, I was trying to think of something more creative, but I couldn't think of anything more creative because it really is like chocolate heaven. There are so many things in there, so many delights. And these just look beautiful. And I've never had like a, a bougie Florentine before. And I'm just very excited to try it. I hate getting into packaging. I mean, the box looks fab. And um, the fact they're in rectangles, I really quite, quite enjoy that. Oh, oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. They're so like thin and crisp. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Orange. Lemon peel. Everything is quite rich. And I've got a sweet tooth. I feel like I could hack a lot of sweet things, but this is rich, it's buttery, it's caramelly, it's chocolatey. I really like the lemon in it, but I could only have one. And that is honestly, if you've seen my videos before, you know that is saying something. But it is great and I love that you've got like the big old flaked almonds. The dark chocolate, now this is quite surprising, works really well with the lemon. And I wasn't anticipating saying that. This is fantastic, really flipping love it. Harrods, we've had some hits and we've had some misses. But overall, I feel like they excel in the sweet chocolate area. <laughs> And they're like baked savouries. The olive bread, my favourite thing. The pie, most of their breads to be fair. But they're like sweet breads. I feel like they could have some work. And some of their patisserie bits, they could have some work. But I have had the most fun time. Let me know if you want me to try anything else out and what you want to see from me. I love you all so flipping much. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to go and enjoy this now. Peace out, punks. I love you all. Bye!